the Philistines once again invaded Israel. Both armies faced one another across a ravine. They were preparing for battle when suddenly a large Philistine stepped forward. His name was Goliath. He stood nine feet nine inches tall. He yelled over at the army of Israel, Why are you preparing for battle? Let's just let two of us take care of this. Send someone out and fight me. If he kills me, then we Philistines will be your servants. But if I kill him, you will be our servants. Well, no one accepted this challenge. So every day, every morning and every evening, Goliath came forth and issued his challenge, yelling across to the Israel army. This went on for 40 days. Saul offered great rewards for anyone who would accept the challenge and kill the giant. He said, I, I, I will make him a wealthy man. Hey, he can marry my daughter. While this was going on, Jesse said to David, Go visit your brothers, take them some food, and then come back and tell me how the battle is going. So the next morning, David got up early in the morning and, and, and went to the battle site. He could see that the, that the battle lines were drawn. So he, he gave the food to the quartermaster and ran to see what was going on. Just then, Goliath stepped forth. Come on, send someone out here. We'll fight man to man, one on one. Winner takes all. All the men pulled back. David was shocked. He said, who does this, who does this ungodly Philistine think he is? He just, he just defiled the army of the living God. David's older brother turned to him and said, What are you doing here? Why aren't you watching your father's sheep? Go home. War is for men. David said, I, was, I didn't do anything wrong. I simply asked the question. He then turned to someone else and said, Who does this ungodly Philistine think he is? He kept asking the question until Saul heard about it and called for David to come. David said, don't worry about this Philistine. I'll take care of him. Saul said, he's a warrior, a seasoned fighter, and you're young and inexperienced. David said, no, I watched my father sheep. Occasionally a bear or a lion will come to get a lamb. A, a lamb. I'll, I'll grab him. And with the Lord's help, I'll kill him. The Lord's always given me victory. Saul said, Well, go and the Lord be with you. Saul then gave David his personal armor to wear. And David put it on, but he, he could hardly walk around. He said, I, I can't wear this. It would only slow me down. So he got his shepherd's staff and his sling. He went down to a brook and there selected five smooth stones and put them in his shepherd's bag. He then walked towards the giant. When Goliath saw him, he said, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? Come here, I'll feed your flesh to the birds. David said, You're coming to me with a sword and a spear. 
I come to you in the name of the Lord. You have insulted him. Therefore, I will cut off your head and feed your body to the birds. This battle belongs to the Lord. And he's given you to me. Goliath walked towards David, but David ran towards the giant. He reached into his shepherd's bag and pulled out a stone and slipped it into a sling. And then with deadly accuracy, the stone hit the giant, sinking into his forehead. Goliath fell to the ground face, face first. David ran up and pulled out the giant's own sword and cut off his head. Both armies were shocked when they saw this. The Philistines turned and ran. The Israelites gave a victory shout and chased after them. Many Philistines died that day. Saul said to Abner, his, his general, Who is that young man? I don't know. So they sent for David. Saul said, what's your name and what's your father's name? David said, my father is Jesse from Bethlehem. Well, Saul didn't let David go home. He made him a commander in his army. And the Lord gave David success in everything that Saul asked him to do.